Good day, everyone. My name is Pastor Ekechuk and I'm your host at Everyday Prayer Guide Television. Today, we shall be looking at the topic called Back to Sender, Five Psalms to Put Fear in the Camp of Your Enemies. Back to Sender, and we're going to be looking at five psalms to put fear in the camp of your enemies. Now, what is Back to Sender? Back to sender is simply saying, let the evil that the enemy intended for me, let it go back to them. Let the evil that the wicked intended for me, let it go back to them. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, in Genesis chapter 12, when God met Abraham, he said to Abraham, among other things, he said, I will bless them that bless you and I will curse them that curse you. In other words, when they bless you, blessings will return back to them. When they curse you, their curses will return back to them. We serve a God of back to sender. If you read your Bible, you know that we serve a God of back to sender. Remember in the days of Esther, when Haman hated Mordecai for no reason, Haman was plotting on how to destroy not just Mordecai but the Jews. In fact, he went ahead to dig to prepare a gallow where he will hang Mordecai. But Mordecai told Esther, let us declare fast and pray. If not, these are our enemies are all repentant. They will kill us. And Esther declared a fast. If I perish, I perish. She declared a fast. And when they went to God in prayer, the Bible said the tables turned against Haman. How did Haman die? The same gallow that Haman set for Mordecai was where he was hung. That is called back to sender. Haman set a gallow for Mordecai to be hung there, but he himself died in the same gallows. In Daniel chapter 6, Daniel was doing well, was preferred because he was a solution provider. His colleagues envied him and they began to devise a means to eliminate him. They put up a law just to frustrate him. That law affected the whole world, but it was just for one man. That's to let you know the extent of the wickedness of man. Some of you, you think that it is until you offend your enemies before they hate you. Some of, some of them, they hate you because you are doing well. They hate you because you are beautiful. They hate you because you, you know your job. They hate you because you are not begging for food. They hate you because you are feeding yourself. They hate you because you are not, you are not struggling. Or you are even looking fine. They hate you because of your last name. They hate you for things you have no control over. They hated Daniel and they put up a law, deceived the king to sign. They said anybody that prays to any other name will throw him into the lion's den. And Daniel went and prayed because Daniel was a man of prayer. He knew how to pray. He prayed every day. And they caught him and they threw him to the lion's den. But the Lord, the God of back to send us, sent an angel to shut the mouth of the lions. The next day, what happened? When the king saw that Daniel was delivered, he gathered everybody, all the evil men and their family and their children, and they were all thrown where? Into the same lion's den. The same lion's den that they prepared for Daniel was the same lion's den that all of them died inside. In fact, not just them, both them and their children. We serve a God of back to sender. Back to sender, another word for back to sender is divine justice. Another word for back to sender is divine justice. We serve a God of divine justice. Praise the Lord. In the New Testament, in Acts chapter 12, the Bible said the Herod began to attack the church. He took James, beheaded James. He took Peter to do the same to Peter the next day. But the church prayed all through the night. And the angel of the Lord came, delivered Peter. And Herod woke up the next morning. He didn't see Peter. He killed those who were in charge. He began to address the Jews. The Bible said they were, as he was addressing them, they were saying the voice of God and not of man. And an angel stood behind him, killed him, and he died and was eaten of worms. Now, the same death... He planned to, the Bible says when he killed James, he saw that he pleased the Jews. So he took Peter. He planned to execute Peter in front of the Jews. The same way he executed James. But he himself died in front of the crowd. The same crowd he wanted to kill Peter before was the same crowd that the Lord killed him. 
Now, I want you to know, that angel could have killed him in the night. That angel could have killed him in his sleep. But the angel wanted to kill him in the same way he wanted to kill Peter. It is called back to sender. The Bible said, see, it is a righteous thing for God to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. Praise Master Jesus. So I want you to understand that we serve a God of back to sender. Any evil that they plan against you, they will carry it with their head. Anyone that is wishing you untimely death, they will die your death. Any arrow of the enemy to frustrate you or your children, that arrow will return back to them seven times. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 7, he said they will come against you in one way, but they will run away from you in seven directions. In other words, if they send you an arrow, the arrow will return back to them seven times in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now we're going to be looking at five scriptures. Psalms, you know, Psalms are prayers. The book of Psalms is the book of prayers. So I'm going to be looking at Psalms, five Psalms that you can engage when you want to pray back to sender prayers. The first Psalm we are looking at today is Psalm 94. Psalms 94. Let's turn our Bibles to Psalm 94. Praise the Lord. Powerful Psalm. He said, O Lord God, to whom vengeance belongeth, O God, to whom vengeance belongeth, show thyself. He said, lift up, lift up thyself, thou judge of the earth. Render a reward to the proud. Render a reward to the proud. Now let us look at verse. Let us look at verse 22 to 23. He said, But the Lord is my defense, and my God is the rock of my refuge, and he shall bring upon them their own iniquity. And shall cut them off in their own wickedness. Yea, the Lord God shall cut them off. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, Psalms 94 is the, one of the Psalms you can read. Read that Psalms and pray with it. Let their iniquity fall upon them. O God of vengeance, arise and render a reward to the proud. Render a reward to unrepentant wicked men. Let their own iniquity fall upon them. Let them be cut off. When you are being oppressed by unrepentant evil, unrepentant wicked men, read these Psalms and pray with it. In the description of this video, I'm going to put some prayers that you can pray. Some back to sender prayers. That you can pray and i believe that those prayers will bless you and they will answer for you in the mighty name of jesus number two psalm that you can use to pray back to send our prayers is psalm 27 psalms 27 praise the lord the bible said the lord is my light and my salvation whom shall i fear the lord is the strength of my life of whom Shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fall. When my enemies and my foes, when they came upon me to eat up my flesh, the Bible says they stumbled and fall. That is back to sender. Though an host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war should rise up against me, in this will I be confident. In this will I be confident. Shout a louder amen. Amen. Verse 12, it says, Deliver me not over unto the wheels of my enemies, for false witness are risen up against me, and such as break out cruelty. He said, I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. In the land of the living. Shout a louder amen. Now, pray this prayer. Pray this prayer. Read these Psalms when you want to pray back to send that prayer. Psalm 27, very powerful. He said, when your enemies come against you, they will stumble and fall. Anyone that wants you to go down, let them stumble and fall, never to rise again. When you see me pray that prayer, evil men pursuing me, evil women pursuing me, oh God, my Father, cause them to stumble and fall, never to rise again. I am activating Psalm 27. 
I am activating Psalm 27 in verse 3, in verse 2. He said, when the wicked, even my enemies and my foes came up to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. They stumbled and fell. Anyone pursuing me physically and spiritually, oh God, arise, cause them to stumble and fall, never to rise again in the mighty name of Jesus. That is activated from Psalms 27. Praise Master Jesus. Another Psalm that you can use to engage in back to sender prayers is Psalm 54. Psalm 54, very short psalm, but powerful psalm. It says, Save me, O God, by thy name, and judge me by thy strength. Hear my prayer, O God, give ear to the words of my mouth. For strangers are risen up against me, and oppressors seek after my soul. They have not set God before them. Behold, God is my helper. The Lord is with them that uphold my soul. He shall reward evil unto my enemies. Cut them off in thy truth. I will freely sacrifice unto thee. I will praise thy name, O Lord, for it is good. For he hath delivered me out of all trouble, and my eye hath seen his desire upon my enemy. He said, and my eye. Verse 5, he said, he shall reward evil unto my enemies. Every of their evil targeted towards me shall become their own reward. Every of their evil intentions against me, their evil desires against me, their evil actions against me, it shall become their own reward. And my eyes shall see the desire, my desire upon my enemies. Praise the Lord. Verse, verse 7, it says, And my eye had seen his desire upon my enemies. Psalm 54 powerful psalm the lord will reward them of their with their own wickedness their own wickedness will become their own reward in the mighty name of jesus christ amen hallelujah so engage psalm 54 another psalm is the popular psalm 35 oh come on if you're a christian psalm 35 needs no introduction he said plead my cause O lord with them that strive with me fight against them that fight against me take hold of shield and buckler and stand up for my help praise the lord psalm 35 is all out war against the evil one. Oh god fight my fighters oh god attack my attackers oh god pursue my pursuers oh god stop those who are attempting to stop me arise oh god and frustrate those who seek to frustrate me psalm 35 engage psalm 35 and use it to pray Engage Psalm 35 and use it to pray. Praise Master Jesus. Now listen to me. When You see, when your prayers are backed with scriptures, they are potent. And in this channel, every prayer we pray have scriptural backup. They are scripturally rooted prayers. And that is why they answer. That is why when we pray, God answers. Psalm 35 is a potent scripture for spiritual warfare. Read it and pray with it. Use it to pray back to sender prayers and the enemies will give up on you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And the fifth one here is Psalm 109. Powerful. Psalm 109. This is another dangerous psalm to your enemies. This psalm is dangerous to unrepentant enemies. Psalm 109, from the beginning of the psalm, he said, Hold not thy peace, O God of my praise, for the mouth of the wicked and the mouth of the deceitful are opened up against me. They have spoken against me with a lying tongue. They compass me about also with words of hatred and fought against me without a cause. For my love, they are my adversaries, but I give myself unto prayer. It takes prayer to conquer this wickedness. Next verse. He said, and they have rewarded me evil for good and hatred for my love. Set thou a wicked man over him and let Satan stand at his right hand. When he shall be judged, let him be condemned and let his prayer become sane. Let his days be few and let another take his office. 
Let his children be fatherless and let his wife a widow. Let his children be continually vagabonds and beg. Let them seek their bread also out of their desolate places. I love verse 17. Verse 17 says, He said, As he loved cursing, so let it come unto him. As he delighted not in blessing, so let it be far from him. Wow. Somebody said, Pastor, this prayers are this. This psalm is very cruel. Now listen to me. The wickedness of the wicked is even crueler. If there's any word like that. See, people hate you for no reason. And you see, wickedness will continue as long as it is not addressed. Are you getting me now? As long as the righteous don't attack wickedness, wickedness will continue. Adversaries, there is no peace for the wicked. Isaiah 40, 48 verse 22, there is no peace for the wicked. No peace for the wicked. Engage these Psalms when the wicked is after your life. Engage these Psalms until on, uh, when the wicked is after your life. The reason why you are under oppression is because you are too gentle. You are too peaceful. Jesus said, be wise as serpents, be gentle as those. That it should be a, a, a serpent side of you, which is the warfare side of you. I always use illustration of countries to you. The, the, the countries that are the most peaceful are the most dangerous countries. Countries like America. You don't see terrorists in America bombing everywhere. Countries like Russia. You don't see terrorists in Russia bombing anywhere. Countries like the United Kingdom, Canada. You don't see those countries. A lot of people travel to those countries. Apart from the fact that Russia is currently fighting war now, which is, I don't know, political or whatever. But let's look at countries like the United States, America, England, Canada and all. People go to those countries to look for greener pastures because in those countries you are peaceful you can drive in the night in the day nobody's going to kidnap you if you just go about your business nobody bothers you there is security there is security in those countries why because those countries are strong countries but go to weaker countries like most african countries many of them have been ravaged by insecurity all manner of insecurity, terrorism everywhere, bombing, killing. Why? Because the countries are weak. The reason why there are many demonic terrorists in your life is because you are too gentle. That is why there are many demonic terrorists in your life. Satan is terrorizing your marriage, terrorizing your business, terrorizing your job, terrorizing your, your, your family, terrorizing the works of your hands. Everywhere you put hand, there is attack. Why? Because you are too quiet in the spirit realm. When you begin to go on the offense spiritually, when you begin to release your spiritual nuclear weapons, when you begin to release your spiritual arsenal on the altar of prayer, Satan will give you chance. And these Psalms are potent for spiritual warfare prayers. These Psalms are very powerful for spiritual warfare prayers. When you pray with these Psalms, your enemies will hear from you. And they will hear the hard way. When you pray with these psalms, your enemies will hear from you and they will hear it the hard way. I'm going to put some prayers in the description of these videos that will guide you on how to engage in back to send up prayers. I believe that you have been blessed by this video. I encourage you to subscribe, like, and share. And also, if you are not following us on Facebook, I encourage you to follow us on Facebook. And as you do so, the Lord will bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. And also, if you want to partner with this ministry, we have our Patreon. You can partner with us through our Patreon. And as you do so, the Lord will bless you in the name of Jesus. Watch this video again. Share it to your loved ones. Engage the, the prayers in the video. And as you do so, God will bless you richly. My name is Remain Pastor Ekechi Bichinidu. And I'll see you in the next prayer meeting. Bye for now.